So let me update you on what's been happening. Um, some of this I didn't catch on video because I basically run out of time. Um, and not only that, I hurt my back. So it's been about two weeks since the last video I did. And the goat barn still is not done, but I'm still working on it. So this is where we're at now. And I'll go ahead and swing this camera around and get you caught up. All right, so as you can see, while since the last time I recorded, we run some fence. It's just T-post and um, the corner and put up a gate. I got the three sides of the building completed and went and picked up the three goats. They are two mini alpines and a Nigerian dwarf, all does. Um, the person I got them from believes that one of the mini alpines could be bred because her butt got loose. Um, the mini alpines are about seven months old. And the Nigerian dwarf was only a few days past being weaned when I went to go pick up the mini alpines. And so basically she's about a week, a week or nine days past being weaned. And these two, uh, Mrs. Bully here, is constantly headbutting the Nigerian dwarf. Uh, the, black, the black mini alpine and the tan mini alpine uh, get along fine. But for whatever reason, they do not like the Nigerian dwarf. Anyways, so one of the things that happened after, <laughs> one of the things that happened after I started building the barn was that I realized the space that we had would not be sufficiently enough for me to drag this barn from place to place. So changed the design and now we're going to make it so that uh, it is leveled on this hillside with a wooden floor, pressure treated wooden floor. And then I'm going to add on to it for kidding stalls and a uh, milk room that will also be used for storage. So what I'm doing now is digging under the runners and jacking it up to put it on blocks. So I'll update you later. So here's a quick update. This is now level. Um, this front side here only required two blocks. This back one required five blocks, two before, and a one by. This corner required four blocks and a one by. And this corner is sitting on the ground on a four by four, pressure treated four by four. If I zoom in, you can see that the building started to slide on us while we were trying to get it level. You can see where the building set at. And to keep that from happening, I drove a T-post in the ground on the two front corners. And that kept it from sliding until we got it leveled. And now that it's leveled, it's pretty solid. And the other problem we had, or the goats are curious...
Guess who got out again this morning? Lux. She's found out if she sticks her head at the gate where that cage is at and wiggles it that the gate will open up just enough for her body to squeeze through. So the gate is only temporarily installed and uh, as soon as I get the building hopefully finished up today we're going to work on the gate. I can't remember if I said this or not, but when we first started building this, it was only a temporary shelter because we had goats to get. Only a few days to get a temporary shelter built. So we built a three-sided shelter that um, we felt that we would be able to move around um, as needed. However, when we started to do the fence, um, we realized that we did not have sufficient pasture to really move this around um, with a truck or an ATV or even a small tractor. Uh, basically our fence is 30 feet wide, 60 feet long, and it's only a temporary pasture while they're here. And then we had another pasture that was in between the orchards that we finished fencing in today. We already had part of it done. And because they were bugging us so much yesterday while we were doing the floor, we went ahead and finished up that fence this morning, moved the goats up there, and now we're ready to finish this out. So basically what's going to happen is this is what started to be a temporary shelter. We're now making it into a more permanent shelter. It's up on blocks. It's leveled. Um, the floor's in it now. We're going to go ahead and put... Uh, wall studs in and then go ahead and put siding on most of the front of this so this is um, about I don't remember the width it's pretty close to, the inside is pretty close to about seven and a half feet by 12 feet long so what I'm going to do now that it's going to be the basis of the permanent shelter is this is going to be their like general lounge area where there's some food at. Over there will be where they sleep. On the back end of this, I'm going to add a five foot partition to serve as their kidding stall. And then on this end, I'm going to add maybe an eight by 12 or whatever it comes out to be part, which will be a milk room and some hay storage. Now, when I picked up the goats, the uh, lady told me that one of the mini alpines may be pregnant and if she was that she would kid in about February so it's uh, September 22nd right now and I've got a few months to actually get the kidding stalls and other stuff done but I want to try to get it done before the ground freezes here in a couple months so you know it's just been juggling time building fences we got to get this gate fixed because uh, the little Nigerian dwarf has found out that she can squeeze through it. Again, it was a temporary gate put up. Just because we had goats coming, we run out of time to do some things right. But now we're going back and fixing all that stuff.
Good.